So much for that. I had an intro planned for for a cutting sequence, but never mind about that. Guys, we're here! So this is the famous Port Prisma. It's so peaceful and quiet. Really quiet. Uh, where is everybody? Well, it's the princess. Ah, it's nice to be on dry land again. We have come to the right place, haven't we? Port Prisma? I thought we, this was supposed to be a tourist destination. It seems a little quiet, don't you think? Yeah, weird. I can even let them know we were coming. You'd think they'd prepare a warmer welcome for Princess Peach and the world-famous Mario. Speaking of, Mario, what are you doing? Mario, we're here! Come on out! <laughs> oh, that was quite a storm last night, wasn't it? You poor thing. Ha! You look like a used gum wrapper. Iron yourself out, man. It's a me, Mario. That's my Mario. Much better. All right. Let me just take another look at this letter. Oh, I can't. I just can't bear to think that about what I'm really holding. A folded up collarless toad. The only clue we have is that he was postmarked here in Port Prisma. Not to worry, Princess. I've read the Port Prisma guidebook cover to cover. We want to head to Prisma Fountain in the center of town. It's a big tourist attraction. From there, maybe we'll run into some locals who can help us. Sounds like a plan. Well, I've got a bad feeling about this place. Let's proceed with costume. Yep, you're gonna be seeing this a lot. My Joy-Con, my joystick on my gamepad is broken. Welcome, what up, mates? It's Omega Dragon, and welcome to my new LP that might be a bit faulty, Paper Mario Color Splash. An LP I've been prepping to do since a long time ago. Forgive my drinking joystick, because as much as I want, as much as I wish that I, that I can do something about it, this gamepad is so old, and who makes we, who makes Wii U games anymore? So I'm you would have to deal with that, hoping that it won't be much of an issue. So yeah, I've been wanting to do this LP for a very long time. And people would probably not like the fact that I'm playing this game. But the reason why I'm playing this game is because I have wanted to LP this game since I LP demoed it. But I wanted to save that until I have LP'd other Paper Mario games. Except for, I haven't been able to do that. And this is not my very first Paper Mario game that I'm playing through that was... Well, pretty much it is. Like, it's the second Paper Mario game that I'm LPing because I LPed Super Paper Mario a f couple of LPs ago. And I, and I decided that after Paper Mario Color Splash and another new LP that you're going to be seeing a bit soon, you'll be seeing a bunch of turn-based RPG games that you will claim is so much better than this one. The reason why I'm playing this first is because... To, it's just to get it out of the way, and I will say it, it's not that bad of a game to me. It's not great. It's not like Sticker Star where it's super boring. It's super boring for the fact that every NPC will be Toads, but there will be a couple that won't be Toads. And that's why I'm glad that Paper Mario and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door will be my LPs after this one. This is my 64th LP, and I decided to play this th through. And you were like, and I'm betting you were like, 
You already, fi I, we already figured this was Paper Mario Color Splash. Not, not really because of you telling telling us, but we had a feeling you were gonna play this before the good ones. And the reason why I wanted to play this before the good ones, and yes, I actually LP'd the Origami King before Color Splash. And the reason why was because I wanted to see how it was, and I blindly played through that one. But I am not blindly playing through this one. I've played this game twice already. Probably three times. There's going to be one spoiler in this. And that is about a, a tournament. And the, and it's a spoiler that's unavoidable. I've tried to avoid it, but it's impossible to. So we can't do anything here. The sign is blank. White letters on a white sign? That's like bad design 101. Who approved this layout? And Mario will always go right. At times Mario will go slowly going a certain direction and I'm trying to I'm trying to help myself on that one. Ah, now we're talking. Now now that looks like there's something up there. Then you can jump up there and take it out. Peach can jump. Toad can jump high, but Peach can't jump very high, apparently. It's sort of funny because in the latest Paper Mario games, I want to say Sticker Star and Color Splash, maybe Origami King, but I don't know for sure. They have not given Mario the hammer. And in Paper Mario and Paper Mario that was your door and Super Paper Mario, that's pretty much the same thing. You have to try to find a hammer because of craftsmanship, but it makes sense. Oops, I didn't read that. But that doesn't really matter. You'll be seeing the use of this game soon enough. And trust you me when I say that coins are going to be... Like, I've played through this game and no matter what, I've always reached the maximum. It's so hard to not. Sorry, Crate. You gave us no choice. Now, before I go onward, doesn't this look... Like, when I played this before, I was like, my word, this looks like Rogue Port. Like, just the front of it does. It looks a bit like Rogue Port because of the boat going in. They they literally made this like the second newest game. And then they made the Origami King be like a, pa a Super Paper Mario style story where... King Ollie wants to destroy all paper and turn them into origami, where in Super Paper Mario Count Black wanted to destroy all worlds. This game, you'll be seeing something similar to Thousand Year Door Story, and then Sticker Star had a bit of a similarity to the first Paper Mario game story. And it's funny, because... Sticker Star is boring, but the story style is a bit the same as Paper Mario, just in a worse way, because of partner and stuff like that. Let's go check out the town, and let's let's enjoy the hassle of this freaking left stick. Look at how messed up the town is. Mamma mia. Wow, this is a real ghost town. This can't be right. Are you sure this is Prisma Fountain Toad? Yes. According to my guidebook, the fountain is a glorious rainbow of happiness and joy. So, um, yeah, this doesn't seem like... I'll take a look around and see if I can find someone. Find! There's no mistaking the postmark on this poor toad. He was definitely mailed from Port Prisma. But who could have done such a thing? I actually forgot this goes first. I thought, I thought the toad was going to scream first, but I... Like, there are some scenes that I completely forgot about. Look at that. Some kind of device. 
just rose out of just rose out of the fountain. Maybe you could take a closer look at it. Uh, there's my there's that poor. Th I didn't actually check this. Uh -huh, I'm sorry. It's my freaking joystick. I can't control it. Look at that. It's some kind of device. Just rose out of the fountain. We already know this. Mario just does that. It stops after some. It stops at some point. Emergency recovery unit. In case of emergency, activate these three switches hidden in the plaza. Blue hit. Yellow pull. Red jump. So they're going to show hidden switches somewhere. And that's the first clue. One is right here. No, it's not. Do I have to pull it? It's this stick, man. It's so freaking impossible. There. That's one. The other was a hit right here. Hit it from the right side because I think that's what, where you're supposed to hit it from. Then red was jump, so I have to find a red place somewhere to jump across, which I think is at a wall somewhere. I wish there was a way to fix my left stick, but I don't know how. It's like worse and worse. It's even better that this is the only Wii U game I'm thinking of LPing because after that I'm pretty much done. It's even worse that the only controller you can use is, is the gamepad. There's no pro controller options for it. Huh, is that a paint can? I have to hit the paint can. Let's see what's inside. Try opening the wit the lid. Oh right, you need a specialized tool to open a paint can like that. Well, the only tool we have is a bit more blunt, but maybe it's worth try taking a swing. <laughs> Huey, the partner of the game. Ow! What was that for? How w would you like it if I whacked you with a hammer while you were sleeping? We're so sorry. It's just that we thought you were a paint can, so we tried to open you up. A paint can? You think I'm just some regular paint can? Oh, right. You don't look like you're, you're from around here, so I'll forgive that comment. But I am so much more than a regular paint can. Anyway, now that I'm awake, you want to grab a burger or something? Your treat. Oh, um, we're actually here to investigate a strange letter we received from your town. Only, it's not an ordinary letter. It's a toad, drained of color and postmarked from Port Prisma. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Princess Peach of the Mushroom Kingdom. And this is my friend, Mario. You, you can see how she blanked out on that. That, mean, that means that she is clearly having feelings for him. Or something like that. Maybe a girlfriend. I don't know. Don't ask me. He jumps on things and hits them with a hammer when necessary. And I also have a very bright and hard working retainer around here somewhere. What was that? Stop. Get off me. That didn't sound good. That sounds like Toad. He might be hurt or in trouble. We're coming, Toad! Peach actually says something in the beginning for when, for if you hit her with a hammer. Yeah. She would have said... She would, I don't know. She said something about the hammer. Stop it! My... My beautiful colors! Goodness, what is that thing doing to him? Mario, help me! I I can't feel my pants! But I did 
find something that might come in handy. Take these and remember me fondly. A lot of cards, which I think was 30 cards. Mario is just mad. Toad! No! Poor Toad. What are you waiting for, Mario? Toad, use those battle cards on this sucker. Here he comes. Hold it! Do you even have any paint, Mario? Uh... You don't have any paint. I can smell paint from a mile away. What are we going to do? There's no paint around here. Ugh, there's no other choice. Mario, you're going to have to ring me out. Just press A to give me a squeeze. Don't be shy now. Squeeze. He's now paper. Woo! I'm so light and dry. Oh, whoops. Light and airy. Th is this what you pay for you know, like all the time? Alright, enough flapping in the wind. The paint you just absorb- oh my word. The paint you just absorb is basically my blood, sweat, and tears. You don't have time for, to shower later. Use that paint to power up those battle cards that your friend gave you. And then use the battle cards to plaster this introverted assassin. <laughs> hey, so we're just gonna go ahead and attack you now. I mean, if that's cool. No, that's definitely not cool. This is when there are, there are three of you. Whatever. You got, We've got cards and we've got paint. You know what to do. I'm gonna write on the list, which means I need a pencil. You have no idea what to do, do you? So, this is the deal of this game. Battle system, you cannot see what you're, what I am going to be doing because the gamepad screen actually shows what the, what you need to do for that point. And my freaking gamepad's dying, and if my gamepad dies, the entire console dies. So I gotta get my charger. Pretty much the best thing about the this game is the battle theme. It's not that it's not as bad as as Sticker Star was. <sighs> because Sticker Star had a very annoying start of a battle theme, but this the, this battle theme is just more forgiving of that. The thing I wish they didn't do, because I get it, it makes sense for them to dole out the theme for when you need some thinking time. But I wish they didn't do that, and I hope they didn't, don't do that in Mario and Luigi game. In the, in the new Mario and Luigi game. Because I love the theme of its own. Makes it. Because even that helps me think. It helps me think in the better, in the longer run, like some people like it. This game doesn't have it. It was Origami King that introduced it. No words, Uncle Huey is here to give you a primer! And now you can't see what he's saying. It's all cute that you're trying. And you can see these enemies saying stuff. You'll, you'll be reading that off while I look for cards to read off of. So basically, all of the all of the cards that I get, or all of the cards that I'll be seeing, I'll be putting on here so that so that for the future, I'll know what I'm missing. It's gonna be hard for me to figure out where to write on though. And how many cards I think there are in the game that you have to get is 90 or nine. It was like somewhere around 90. 
And there are specific cards to get. Uh, I'm gonna move my mouse for a little bit. I'm gonna take a while. I'm not spoiling anything about one of them. But there is battle cards, which I'm saying here on my paper, and I'll show it on post after I've completed the game. I haven't done that for Super Paper Mario yet. So it's battle, then the next one is enemies. There's a lot of battle cards, so I don't know what. Yeah. I'm gonna just try to predict it. Because that's, a, that's the plus about this game is that there are battle cards, enemy cards, and then another kind of card that you will be like, why am I not surprised? So you aren't seeing what I'm, what I'm seeing. There is a... <coughs> there is two screens which is the main screen that you're seeing right now and the card screen which is on the gamepad so I'm gonna read on the gamepad and that's the only thing I'm not showing like when it reaches the certain scene of cutout I'm going to and yes I spoiled it even though I said I was gonna only say one spoiler and that was not it when it reaches a certain scene I'm gonna cut that out and only because of something that like I'm gonna cut that out when I make it to a certain point I don't know what I'm saying when I make it to that certain point I'll cut that out and then come right back when it's done it's gonna be a little bit for that and I'll come back to saying that as well when it gets there anyways so here are all the cards they've got from Toad. They're called battle cards, for obvious reasons. Each one lets you perform an action in battle. The pictures on the cards should give you a general idea. For example, look at this one. It has two boots on it. That means this card will let you use a jump attack two times. Which, yeah, you aren't seeing that, but... There, but... Right now I'm going to write for battle cards. I'm going to do this. Bell is jump is boots. Then boots times two. And yeah, they're called boots for some other reasons, and not shoes. Maybe they're called boots. No. Maybe it's jump. I'm not gonna say boots, I'm gonna just say shoes instead. Because they're supposed to be shoes. Shoes times two. And then... There's a big shoe. Oh my word. Good, I'm calling it jump because that's what it's called. Jump, jump times two, and then. Then at some point there will be new ones. For, for me, not cutting right now, it's sort of showing it bad. And then there's a big jump. There's more, but well, I'll get to that at some point. I'll be doing these notes so that I would know what I'm missing. But enemy cards are gonna be the most annoying. The big boot, there's a powerful jump attack. The bigger the icon, the simpler, the stronger the attack. Now I gotta place a card, and so far it's only one. Then there's a worn out jump, a hammer, and a worn out hammer. 
Hey, uh, there's no real point to you in using this card. I know. Just taking note of what I have. Hammer. And worn out hammer. And I have to keep one. And I'm checking off what I have put in a certain place that you'll see later. Then mushroom, which I'll put down the, down very low, putting it right here. This makes me wish I had a webcam, but I don't. I used to, but I don't anymore. So, I'm going to use. I know I'm scrolling. I'm going to use. The normal... I'm actually going to use a hammer. And then I have to tap and hold for me to... I have to tap and hold when, it, when I say card ready. And then tap and hold. When I tap and hold, then I'll be able to... Create color for it. And if I do that then it becomes very powerful. If it's if it's lacking in color, then it becomes very bad. Like it becomes a quarter as strong as it should be. Then I gotta flick it upward. There's touch controls in every every shape and form. Now where now here's where the action command com comes up starts away. The greater the light, the more damage you'll do. Really strong attacks that can even hit multiple enemies. You can also tap the gamepad screen instead of pressing A, but I won't be doing that because I'm bad at that timing. Alright, now you might not like this part. They're gonna attack you, but you don't have to just sit there, you can defend yourself. This is the only Paper Mario game other than Sticker Star as well, where you take half damage from blocking, because apparently in certain Paper Mario games, except for Super Paper Mario, when you block it, doesn't you don't take half damage, and I hate that. I think if you don't block, you still take one damage. So now I'm going to use a Worn Out Jump, which I don't know what it's actually called. I'll look at the card screen and see what they're actually called. For jump attacks, press A right before you're stomping on your foe. If you time your attacks well, you can do up to five jumps, just like in Paper Mario Sacred Star. You can also tap the gamepad, but I don't care about that. That was bad timing. Mamma mia. Color me impressed. You're a natural kid. Oh, poor Toad. Everyone, a moment of silence, please. Man, I'm starving. Well, about that burger. Huh? Don't worry about Toad there. He'll be fine. Walk it off, bud. Hmm. Well, maybe he's in rougher shape than I thought. But no worries. Oh, he just needs a fresh coat of paint, and he'll be good as new. Really? You can revive him with paint? That would be a miracle. He won't come back as some kind of freaky zombie toad, right? No, ma'am. He'll be the same toad he's always been. That's the power of paint. You see, paint isn't just for powering up battle cards. Paint adds beauty and life to the world. You'll be doing this a lot. So I've taken the liberty of loading up your hammer with all the colors of the rainbow. Yes, even brown and all certain, certain other colors that he didn't say. Brown counts as orange, gold counts as yellow, so on and so forth. Black just counts as apparently blue for some odd reason, and white also counts as blue. Go on, press X and give it a swing to your pasty friend here. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, it's my freaking joystick. 
it's not, and apparently it's not ZR, it's X. You press ZR in the Switch version to throw confetti, but in this version it's, you press X for that. And you press X for a thousand fold arms in Origami King, but you'll, but you'll have a special ability come up where you have to press a certain button that is con throwing confetti. Just five more minutes, Mom! Wait, what? I'm alive! And I can feel my pants. Yeah! Oh, Toad. I'm so glad you're okay. Without your colors, we could hardly recognize... See? That's the color of paint. I said color. Ignore me. Now, I've got to warn you, I gave you everything I've got, but it won't last forever. If you want to keep on painting the world around you, you are going to have to supply from time to time. Or if you defeat enemies, then you get to level up your max paint used. So this can, this can here, just save my life? I knew all that recycling would pay off one day. It always pays off. Hey, just in case we get ambushed by any more freaks with bendy straws, where exactly are we supposed to find this magical life-giving paint you speak of? Easy. Remember that fountain in the center of town? You know, the one I was, where I was taking a nap? Well, it's a prime source of paint from all of Prism Island. Even funnier how it looks like Super Mario Sunshine based stuff, but it really isn't. We've got six big paint stars hooked up to the thing, and they'll put out as much paint as you like. Plus, I mean, paint pretty much flies out of everything around here. Prepare to be disappointed with something that you'll be seeing. Because it's something that I'll, that I'll say after collecting the second big paint star because yes you'll be collecting big paint stars in order to complete a chapter I quote because really there's no chapters in this game as do as stupid as it is because Paper Mario games should have chapters because it's a book game like it's every it's literally paper in a book so why are there no chapters in the futuristic games instead of and instead of worlds just make chapters say C1 instead of W1. That's, and I'm glad they came back with it in the new Paper Mario game that I'll be LPing for my 68th LP, but it still sucks the, for the fact that they, that in the newer ones except for Thousand Year Door, yes I said it, they made worlds instead of chapters. But in this, but in this game, you'll see later on. Plus, I mean, paint pretty much flies out of everything around here. Try hitting stuff with your hammer. You'll see what I mean. I got a lot of vent about this game. I'm sorry. Oh, that's wonderful news. I was a little worried, but the fountain looked completely dry when we woke you up. Yeah, so I guess we needed to turn it on or something, right? It was definitely dry when we got there. Bah, dry! Good one, Toad. Mario, you want, might want to give this guy another whack with that hammer. I mean, dry? Oh, please. Our big paint star can never run dry. Come on, I'll show you. Whee! Paint stars? I don't know what a paint star is, but I definitely wouldn't see anything like that. Did I say that? I don't know what I said. Whatever. Mario, there's another colorless figure over there. We, we can't just leave him like that. What should we do? Yeah. I wish you can say something. You said something in the beginning, but I missed it. And in order for me to not be able to skip it, I would have to just move around a lot. Welcome to Prisma Card. What? Wait, what's going on? Last thing I remember, the island was surrounded by a bunch of thirsty shy guys. Mario? Nah, there's no way Mario would come all the way out to Port Prism Island. What are you, some sort of Mario impersonator or something? How much you make? How much you make for a gig like this? Eight, nine coins an hour. Anyway, stop by my, stop by my shop in the Blue District sometime and pick up some battle cards. Oh yeah, and if you find the shy guys who stole my cards, turn them into scrap paper. Will do, buddy. So every time you hit a certain thing 
whether it be trees or... Hey, Mario. Nice working with those battle cards. Sorry, hold on a moment. If you hit a tree, a window, anything that it that has color in it that sticks up, you will get some more color, and they re and they regrow, so you don't have to worry about wasting life. They re they respawn they so called respawn just like enemies do. Hey, Mari. Oh yeah. I gotta say though, your action command game is looking a little sketchy. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's been a while. If you ever want to practice, just stop by my dojo or house. Or we could just hang out and watch movies or whatever. I've got some round sound. It won't be weird. So, remember that place for later because I'm not going in it right now. There's a certain toad you have to rescue in order for a certain thing to be unlocked. Now here's the dumb thing. I'll let this guy say something. <laughs> so my joystick used to used to make me go slow to the right instead of the left. Now it's going now it's going slow to the left instead of the right. So I have to try to figure out how to go fast enough to the left, and yes you will be needing to go to the left at some places. Ah, oh, my brother's big paint stars, they're gone, all gone. I'm pretty sure he's ugly crying in there. Um, don't cry, paint can. Maybe we can help you find the, uh, what were they called? Big paint stars? There's no use, they're gone, all gone. Oh, poor Prisma without big paint stars is like, like a tuna fish sandwich without ketchup. Who would have that? Yuck. First of all, I don't really understand that anal analogy. And secondly, gross. Yes, just like I said. And, but thirdly, those paint stars do seem pretty, really, I said pretty, really important to you. And you did just save my life. <laughs> Wait a second. What's that smell? It smells like a paint star. Look up. I know it! Guys, look up there. It's one of our big paint stars. Nope. Oh, isn't it glorious? Okay, Princess, Mario, Toad, you guys can help me after all. Huh, it's a pen! Help me recover that paint star. I mean, I did basically sacrifice my lifeblood to get you out of that pickle back there. He's right. We definitely owe him a favor. Well, we pretty much have no other choice. And besides, I have a feeling that this is related to our mystery. The poor toad who was mailed to us. What do you say, Mario? Will you, will you help Mr. Huey Can? Yes. Mr. Can's my father. You can call me Huey. It sounds like a snooze. Thanks for the help, guys. It means a lot. All right, let's go get that pink, big paint star, shall we? Don't mind me. I'll just tuck myself into your pocket. If you want to chat, just press up on the control pad to summon me. It's easier to, and less painful than hitting me with a hammer. I know this sounds like the back of my can, and that's the truth. Except for, is it really behind your back or, the ups or when you hold it upward and look up? That's the... That's the question. He actually is pretty useful with his advice. He's not like Kirsty and how she's like the worst. And I, and I might be wrong, but Huey's not that bad for a partner. I actually sort of like Huey more than Kirsty. I liked Kirsty a little bit, but I'm going to be rightfully honest. But my most favorite partner is in any Paper Mario game. My most favorite singular partner is Timpani, but my most favorite late game, meaning late game as in Sticker Star, Color Special, and Origami King, is Olivia, because Olivia is actually really helpful. Huey is super helpful with the colors, Olivia is helpful with confetti, and a lot of other stuff, so that's why she's my most favorite partner. She actually does stuff. Huey does stuff too, just 
you, just that it's color and you have to level that up. That's all the joys of leveling up in the game. There's no experience points, but there is paint experience. We're going to wait here for a little, for a while. Mario. Oh, wait. Whatever. Go paint the town red and go play other colors, too. May you stay crisp in the face of crumpling adversity. Yes, you have to see Princess Peach every time you are you run low of HP because she heals you. Come see me anytime you're feeling a bit wrinkly. I I can help flatten you out and restore your HP. I wish you said stuff. Yeah, I wish it was ZR. I won't be used to this. So yeah, coloring the town out is one of the best ways to, of 100%ing the game. So do it as much as you can. I'll be trying my best on it. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's the freaking control stick that I'm too panic. So yeah, it's called a worn out jump. Good. Ah, I hate the freaking control stick that I wish I can change. Wish I can fix. Wish I played on Pro Controller, all of that stuff. I was just admiring the flowers when all of a sudden I felt so empty. <laughs> if I had my own hammer, I could have tried hitting some of the flowers or trees around here to restore myself. Well, if I had my own hammer, and if I had been conscious. Anyway, Port Prisma is so rich in color that paint. Paint just comes br bursting out of just about everything you see. Try it for yourself. You won't hurt anything. I'm sorry. Wasting a bunch of color. The Toad gave the advice that I already gave. So yeah, if you also fill these colors up, you're likely to get battle cards that are already restored from with their color. So, pretty much I'm going to be filling up all these colorless spots as much as I can. I'm about to run out of red paint! But there's a solution to that. For one, hit this window and you get green paint. Pretty much anything that's in color makes this most sense. Also, you can't look at these yet, but you will at some point. Hit these flowers and they will give you red paint. And so far the max paint shown, even though it doesn't make sense because it doesn't show you how much you, you are using, is 100, but that will change. Is Y also? Nope. Y is not also that. If I'm remembering, I think ZL is info, so I won't press that at all. And if you try to leave, then this happens. Oh, you can actually do it. And that will give you some good saving. I thought that Huey was gonna stop you and be like, "Where are you going? Didn't you have a big? Didn't you have a big paint star to grab?" But nope. He doesn't stop you, and I thought he did. Oh come on! I can complete this w one time if only my joystick doesn't freak out. I'm about to run out of paint. Oh, friggin' stick. Pretty sure I can't restore. Looks like you don't have the right color paint to, the, to paint this spot. Try smacking some flowers or trees to get more. Yep. Then for the yellow, oh, I can do this. 
This toad will make the most sense. Stop! Leave me alone! I'm just trying to deliver the mail! Mario, what happened to me? Last thing I remember, I was being assaulted by a bunch of shy guys with straws? Was that just a dream? I still feel like there's something wrong with my head. Can you take a look? Wait, first things first, I haven't even introduced myself. I'm Toadmaster General here in Post, Pri in Post Port Prisma. F please feel free to stop by my humble postal branch over in the Blue District when you get a chance. You can even set up your mail and to be forwarded here while you're in town. Isn't that great? Well, thanks for saving me. Gotta get back to work. Uh, yet again, and I know I can do it more than once. It's just impossible when my control stick keeps freaking out. Ah! Like, this is pathetic. I can do more than that. I'm pretty sure the peach doesn't restore your paint, so don't try to go for that. I think the benches is what you have to hit. And also, every time I do Port Prisma, I end up missing a colorless spot, so that's why I'm trying to look everywhere to see if I can find it find a certain spot that I'm missing. Because Port Prisma is meant to be the main town. But there are different towns. Go down here and there's a sign for you to co to restore. There's certain signs that I didn't read. This trash can will give you a rainbow paint, which means it restores every color that you are missing out on. Welcome to Port Prisma. That's what that says. Then you restore this sign and it says this. I can't read it because of freaking stick. Port Prisma, Harbor District. So far this took so far this barrel, which I almost spoiled, but you wouldn't be surprised on what that said what what I would have said. Isn't Available, but you will soon see that it will be. Prism Island, a colorful island paradise. Voted the world's most colorful town. Behold, Prisma Fountain and its six magnificent colors. Yeah, so basically, this is six colors of the rainbow and not seven. Because in Super Paper Mario, there were seven colors. One being indigo instead of blue. Oh, really? I thought I had it there. I thought I nonchalantly got it, but nope. Whoa! Oops, sorry. Loud. It wasn't a nightmare. It was real! They really did destroy our beautiful Prisma Fountain. But, now that you're here, Mario, everything's gonna be alright. Please save us from a lifetime of crushing despair and sadness. No operation. Welcome to the Red District, by the way. Just double checking if there's a colorless spot over here and there's not. I'm gonna double check this place to see if I have completed everything colorless wise. Mm hmm. She looks like it. I'm gonna smack these flowers just in case. There's so much color to spots to restore. I'm pretty sure this is the only level I'm gonna show in this part because I'm gonna say in the end of the first part about what I'm planning on doing for parts. Which is basically how long each video is gonna be along with if I do a certain level or not. Like if I do a certain level then that will change things but it might be I might still record the videos for a certain amount of time don't know for sure how long yet don't open the gate yet 
First, you have to smack the toad. Not the bridge. Anything but the bridge. Oh. That really stinks. Most of the good stuff in the blue district is on the other side of this bridge. <coughs> I'm no expert on bridge repairs, but I am an expert on bridge experts. And we're definitely going to need one. Yes, a bridge expert would be nice right about now. Don't we have one here in Port Prisma? We usually do, but he's out of town somewhere doing something. Somewhere, something. I thought you said there were an expert. I thought you said you were an expert on bridge experts. First off, I'm gonna just say, shy guy, like shy guy. Well, oh, shy guy red. And I'm gonna say. Slurp guy, because that's what they're called. Not straw guy, but slurp guy. Maybe they're called straw guys, but I'm calling them slurp guys instead. Because, yes, even that, even that, I'm gonna go all the way down and say an enemy that is something I won't spoil yet. Just so that I, because if I discover them, then I'll write them down. But if, if I, if I discovered them and I won't have the time to write it down, then I won't bother. Somewhere, something. I thought you said you were an expert on bridge experts. Never mind. I guess I'll. We'll have to forget about the bridge for now. I know. Fine. Hey Mario, you called. If you see any poor toads who have been drained of their color, just repaint them with your hammer. That's sort of stupid where he just says, Oh, if you forgot, you can just piss up. Screw that. The bridge guy left town to do something. Somewhere. Trust me, I'm an expert. Somewhere, something. Wish it was ZR and stuff. X. Nailed it. Finally. Yeah. Restored just to hit it later on. Now to hit this. Check. This door looks like it could use some fresh color. Try giving it a whack. Look at you, Mr. Fix-It. The door's as good as new. It should open right up, right up now. Just saying what an enemy... What? Just saying another enemy... Name. Colorless objects won't work right until you restore their color. So don't be stingy with that paint hammer. Yeah. Wish hitting it with a hammer worked. Oh. Right, my bad. Doom! I mean, boom! <laughs> I gotta wait all day just to say that, and I totally blew it. Whatever, fight me! <laughs> I thought that was funny. And it's just one Goomba, not three. Worn out hammer. I wish it was Origami King, but it's not. My word, I gotta try to find an excellent on the hammer. If only I had said boom instead of goom. There it is. Ooh, it's a hammer scrap. If you collect enough of these, you'll be able to store more paint in your pa paint hammer. Enemies sometimes drop them after battle, so pick them up before they disappear. They're very useful stuff. So yeah, there it counts as experience for your p max paint. It's really, it's really neat. Good night, cruel world. Duh. Wait, you're not Goomba, you're Mario. And also, why are you afraid of Goombas? I can't believe that guy took me out. I lost to the first Goomba. 
just like a grandma. Well, thanks to, for repainting me. Except for I died by Goombas in Super Mario Galaxy. How embarrassed am I? Very! This is a blue district. Or, well, it used to be. Will be soon. Who knows how much paint those suckers stolen have stolen by now. Good luck tracking them down. Yeah. Restore this. Wait, what's going on here? Usually there's water flowing here. Making the wheel spin around and look super cool. Now it's just sitting there looking moderately cool. That's not cool enough! Yeah. Oh, come on. The water wheel is the best. It's easily on my top 500 favorite water, water wheels. And before you ask, yes, I have seen over 500 water, we water wheels. But what the scrap? Why is the wheel spinning? Well, fine then. Then get back to your top 500 status, you lazy water wheel. Yeah. Can't restore this color. Can't hammer that either. I freaking hate this stick issue. Also, this is what I was trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Go inside the shop. Not getting those coins. Going inside the shop, there will be another toad drain of his color. So, there are these cards that are in the shop that you can buy. There is one that I will not be buying and I will show you what that is at some point. At least this one wasn't a one-time deal. Why is it only two coins though? That's the disappointing thing. <sighs> you gotta pay for that! Wait, what's going on? Where did they go? <clears throat> I got swarmed by a bunch of rowdy customers with straws. And then everything went white. Went white. I wasn't slacking off, boss. I swear. I'll go drum up some more customers. The coins are gone. So this toad will announce when there's new cards in stock. So remember to check in every once in a while. Run out jump. Run out jump again. I swear it's random every time. Hmm? Yeah! Doesn't have a straw. Hey, you. You want to hear a juicy secret? Just come a little closer. That's it. Where'd my straw go? <laughs> Rawr, 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 my puppy's barking. Now this time I gotta get an excellent. I haven't gotten an excellent yet. Finally. You wanna hear that juicy secret? I wear a mask because I'm afraid to put myself up there. Shocking! Trash can! Empty the trash! Oh man, come on, I hate how... I hate how that happens. No wit. Oh man, come on now. Come on, yeah, I always say that. Near, near, ah! I'm gonna save. Oh, Mario, it's terrible. A gang of shy guys with straws were roaming around Port Prisma, stealing everyone's paint. As a last line of defense, I activated the emergency TP system here. But there's no way, way that we can use this much TP, and I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's basically the 
Well, you're supposed to figure out yourself. There it is. That one was what I missed the first time I played through this game. I'm gonna battle this guy, restore some more paint, then save. Jumping is actually easier than using the hammer. I know! Now I've leveled up my max paint to 150. Actually, I thought it was 110. But it goes up by 50, but it doesn't do that every time. At some point, it will only go up by 10s. Then that, then it, like, it will go up by 25s, by 20s, by 10s, then by 5s. It doesn't always go up by 10s. Or it doesn't always go up by 50. Oh, Mario, I was hoping you'd show up. So, is everything done? Have you repainted everything? Defeated the bad guys? Saved the good guys? Nope. What do you mean, no? Get to work, buddy. I'm doing that. There. I was just lining myself up for it. I was only restoring these colors, and then I'm going to save. You're in the way. My faulty control stick is giving me issues. So, BRB for the moment. An hour has passed, but I'm doing another hour's worth of recording, perhaps. Because I don't know how much I completed, and I'm ending this video as soon as I collect the paint star. This is a save block. Hit it to save your prog progress. What is the R? Okay, so the L does nothing. So I guess it's just a gamepad. I'm gonna open up the menu. We're not jump. We're not hammer. Yes, I was right. So, a certain card that there is in the game that I won't be buying at all because the challenge of this game and and yes, it's necessary because it won't it won't affect my completion is to not buy a single mushroom. I will be using them because if I tried to not use a single mushroom, that would be a fail. I would instantly fail that challenge because of knowing that I would be needing them a lot. And guess what? One of these sticker, one of these cards, I don't want to say sticker so bad, but it's not a sticker. One of these cards sucks for what they do, for what it does, and it and is why I'm glad that Origami King made it, made it useful. Back to it. Oh man, didn't want to show that yet. Oh well. I'll show that. I'll tell you about that later. Now it is pretty dang off it there. Oh, because that you just end the turn. Yeah, it's taking a while. The loading sections usually take so long. Well, now the left direction is going is working well. My freaking left stick is not freaking out. It's gonna be like this for a long time. Random every freaking time. Now going on, which to the east side, where we are able to rail. Yeah. It's just a shy guy. Oh, cool. It's just a shy guy. Come on. Yeah. Where am I? Oh, right. I'm in the yellow district. 
as I could camouflage myself by stand standing against the other walls, but they still got me. Now that I have a new lease on life, I'm gonna take uh, more risks. I've always wanted to try cordless bungee jumping. You're gonna die! Cordless bungee jumping? That's gonna kill you. Mario, here, help me! Mario, here, help me! Sounds like someone's in trouble. Let's save the day. Oh, Mario, my hero! Ha <laughs> ha you hear that squeaky annoying voice? I totally crushed that toilet impression. No! Do you take two damage? No, you take three from that shy guy. I just wanted to know. Oh my word, I guess. You gotta figure out how to time that better. Dang, you really are a hero. <laughs> Mario, in here, help me! Like we're gonna fall that for that again. Let's go give that shy guy something really shy about. <laughs> I, I actually wanted to see what Huey said. Duh! Whoa, Tiger, take it easy. What were you expecting? My apologies for the rather uh, non-existent look. Welcome to Port Prisma. As you're no doubt aware, we've been de dealing with an invasion of paint-stealing hooligans. Anyhow, if things had gone as planned, this would have been your guest quarters. There they are. How's it going so far, Mario? Have you recovered that paint star for Huey yet? Ah, Princess Peach, I offer you a belated welcome to our humble town. I'm sure you must be tired from your long voyage, so please feel free to rest in these quarters anytime. Oh, thank you, Purple Toad. We are a bit tired after all this excitement, so we will take you up on that offer. Good luck, Mario. Don't hesitate to come visit me here for if your health runs slow. Yeah, as you can see, Princess Peach is not yet kidnapped. This is probably the longest time, it, if anything, that we've ever seen Princess Peach not get kidnapped by you-know-who. But there's a reason for that. You will see very soon. Or if you just need some good old-fashioned encouragement, go Mario! Now I'm afraid I must be off. There's quite a lot to attend to. Good luck out there. Sort of interesting thing is this. You can talk to this toad. Be careful out there. Don't be a hero. Do be a hero. You know what I mean! I wish that you could talk to me while I hit you with a hammer, but you just don't say anything. I can mess up with your color scheme, and I'll do that later. So now you can release this bridge. See the classic resemblance of the Bowser tape from Paper Mario Sticker Star? There we go. This will be useful later. But right now, I'm very surprised about how this is working. I'm going to... Oh, doing it! What about three Goombas, apparently? Run out hammer time. I can't get it right. If you don't block here, you also take three damage. I even tr I tried to block the second one. I never like we're not believing that. Oh, screw that! Uh, I don't want to use up any more worn out hammers or hammers for reasons you'll see later. 
pretty much vital to 100% completion to keep at least one of these things for a little bit. One more! Because apparently I can time my excellence well with jumps, but not hammers. That will come soon enough. Ah! What did I just say? Look at that! He's so focused on ceiling paint that he hasn't even noticed us approaching. But that's why the wheel isn't spinning. He's taking the color right out of the water. This is actually pretty funny for what happens if you... And if I time it right, that's gonna be very funny. If you... If you hammer the waterfall and not battle the slurp guy, something funny happens. First I'm gonna do this. This will be important for later. There. That's the funny part, is the slurp guy just goes along with you. I thought he gets washed away, but I was wrong. This is actually one of the best things to happen. Is the water running? That's why it's doing this this serene, melodious, frant panic theme. Because not only is the water wheel going to spin, it's also going to get rid of all the TP. Now I finally got first strike. The thing I hate about this game is, they, is that there are no health bars for enemies as much as I wish there were. Perfect bonus! Again! So now the theme is back to its main theme. And I am not going to quite end this prologue yet. I'm going to collect two paint stars in one part. You'll see what I mean soon. Yes! We made it to the big paint star, Mario! Let's go grab it! Hmm, actually, this isn't a big paint star after all. It's much too small. Mario, I think this is a mini paint star. Not to worry, this is a good sign. Mini paint stars are kind of like baby big paint stars. So we must be on the right track. Mini paint stars will always lead to the big paint stars. And big paint stars will lead to my beautiful fountain being restored to its former glory. Whoa, what's going on? There was a toad clinging onto that big paint can. Well, that's not good. That airship is making off with a huge bucket of paint. Did they sail all of that from Port Prisma? Doubt it. Grab this red mini paint star and let's get moving. So yeah, it seems like there's so much more than Port Prisma to explore. If you collect the big, if you collect the mini paint star with, while defeating a lot of enemies. You get a lot of coins and a lot of these rainbow blots. And the rainbow blots will give you a, a lot of color. Now we get introduced to the world map. And this theme as well. So you see that it's 86% complete for Port Prisma and that we're missing a paint star. That's because there's another paint star in the district. 
But, as much as I would continue onwards for the Paint Star, even though I literally just said that I was going to collect two, I realized I can't until I... Until I complete this stage, at least, which is Ruddy Road, which also has two paint stars in it. So, the worst thing is, this is where I'm ending it. And I'm going to end it with saying, yes, this is not World 1. This is technically a huge open world map. It's not open world, as you said, it was spaces. It's an open world map. Meaning that you can access these stages, but that's as soon as you've collected the paint stars. So, basically, that's what the difference is. And what the what the depends on the chapters is dependent on how many paint stars you've collected. And if you've completed one of the pa big paint stars, that will that will be the deciding point of you co having completed all of those chapters. So, thank you for enjoying this part. This is what this is, the LP of Paper Mario Color Splash, and I am going to continue playing this game until I complete it. Soon enough, I'll be able to catch up to where I was in the LP demo. And as for how long I'm planning on making this series last, is video-wise, 40 minutes, or until I complete a stage but most likely 40 minutes, which means that I would end up doing a to-be-continued or something like that. So far, this was not much for an edit. It's just going to be me deleting a beginning scene of the Wii U intro that you'll be seeing in the second part, and that was because I completely forgot they actually t showed the intro for Paper Mario Color Splash, because they don't do that in much of any of the Paper Mario games. They did it for Paper Mario 1, but I don't think they ever did for Paper Mario, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, but I don't remember that either. So, next time in Paper Mario Color Splash, we're completing Ruddy Road, and, see, and going back to Port Prisma and getting that second paint star going left from there. Not knowing where else to go, we shall see. And the second part is likely edited.